Okay, so I mounted these panels to the top of my truck camper and I put this plywood down and the plywood's bolted through uh, the camper top. But what this will let me do is if I want to later, I can remove the panels and then uh, I just have them uh, connected again in series and I'm going to go ahead and uh, connect them to my bus bar. Okay, I put the multimeter on the cables for the four panels on the roof of the truck just to see uh, make sure I have my positive and negative correct and I was getting 82 volts again from the four panels and uh, but the midnight 200 is reading 56.6 volts which is actually closer to the 48 that I was expecting to get um, watts coming in as you can see is 515 that's a little bit lower than what I was hoping for um, about 300 watts lower so at that amount of wattage I really can't run a lot of stuff uh, because I did some testing with a kilowatt and with like the TV and Xbox and a couple and computer and a couple other things and the fridge that was pulling about 500 or 450 to 550 depending on what was turning on and off uh, you can see my battery still at 24 volts it was at 24 and a half when I got home from work and when I first started them up they were 25 so I'm not making any ground uh, charge wise it's sunny as hell out I'm hoping now maybe with this extra panel on I might start to creep up a little bit and I'll have to watch what I'm using uh, you, I sucked quite a bit yesterday just goofing around with the air conditioner and uh, hopefully things will start to pick up though really can't afford to get more panels so it's, this is going to have to do so you want solar power I mean what could be more awesome than free power from the sun you know if you can find the sun So I have all my panels up. I got 12 68 watt panels. I should be pulling in over 700 watts total. Uh, I did a little work today. I got my uh, battery or my inlet box mounted on the back of my truck. So that's my uh, cable for the camper. Uh, the other thing I got done today is I installed uh, heavy wiring uh, to my box right here. And then the other thing I got uh, done, I'll demonstrate that in a little bit, is that's a 120 volt inlet right there. So then if I need to charge uh, from a generator or other power uh, source, I can plug right in and it's already hardwired up. And I just have it uh, cable wrapped to this other thing right here. But let me crawl inside here real quick. But as you can see, in the cloudy condition, I'm only getting 227 watts. I'm charging 9 amps to the battery. And unfortunately, I'm pulling in the neighborhood of 13 amps DC, 13 to 17, depending on what I got turned on. Uh, so I'm not making any headway as far as char getting these charged up to be, you know, good to go all night long. So it's a bit of a bummer.